Thank you for listening to The Field Report. We've been making some really important changes. You'll see over the next couple weeks, maybe, some final changes. And we tested out some things with the news review. And I like it, but honestly, we're going to go back to just doing projects. And so obviously, it's going to be called The Field Project. And uh, there's smaller assignments, more flexibility, um, maybe some more interesting topics other than some topics that a lot of people are not happy with. Honestly, I think a lot of the stuff we've noticed is that it's, it's really, really hard to report certain things or even discuss things. And um, because we noticed that if you report on certain things, you're going to get an automatic news strike. So we had to make these changes. There weren't changes that... I could avoid, um, but it offered us an opportunity to be more flexible and allow people to maybe engage on things that maybe are a little bit more different from just the, the, the hard news. And as you know, there's been a lot of focus on hard news topics. So while that there's something we can do from time to time, we got to be more flexible because of the, you know, the weather's getting nice. Um, it just makes more sense, but we have some things that are coming up, and you'll see in the show images here some of the things that we're working on, and we might dump some things over the next couple weeks. So while you see these changes, some of the, mostly everything will be pretty much the same. Um, some things we might just scrub. But this is what we started out doing because of content changes. I ran into this the last 10 years. If you know anything about content, you've got to create your own content. You can't use other people's stuff. So I create my own content here. I create my own audio, video, voiceover. And I've had a lot of other additional training to do that. And uh, learning from other reporters, veteran reporters, I'm learning to make these changes now. And looking at the current climate and news, it has created a different type of anger. And I don't know that it works anymore. So we're going to this and we're going to bring things back in. To be honest with you, the whole inspiration between behind doing coffee and news is that my mother owned a coffee news show or she, my mother owned a coffee news shop um, years ago. So um, I look at some of the things that I'm familiar with. And I was a newspaper girl when I was little. And I like radio because that's one of my hobbies. So why not do what you like? But in order to inspire people, I don't know that just following news is really been fun. Honestly, it's actually been kind of a miserable experience. And I've looked at some people where they're literally always at clashing with each other. And they're really, there's a lot of people hyping up this news. And I don't know that social media is a good place to hype news because looking at the way things are, people can snap at each other so quickly. So these changes are so important. We had to make them right away. Um, I, I, I know that if you want to coexist the way things are going, I don't know it's going well. And I see a lot of back in, in internal fighting with others in news stories. And I think that that's unfair criticism that we just simply, it doesn't matter what we know and what we should, we should know better at. We're all learning, okay? And we're all trying to make these changes, but um, I can't see how it's going to continue to go down the right way if people are so divided or causing division when you don't need to. I think that hopefully that we can all agree, those who like coffee and wine and like to do outdoor camping, these field projects are going to be much more exciting. We can do more as far as flexibility for um, the live stream and some other things I'd like to do. And I would like to do more videos so, or maybe even open it up to do and talk radio. But I've tried to make all kinds of changes. I'm very good at sharing ideas. I'm very good at creating, but I'm not a very good reporter. And that's just not what I do. But I am good at talking to people. I am good at learning and I want to learn. I'm not here to tell you guys, maybe you might know more about a topic than I do, but it's for me to find out what you as an audience want. And uh, I can't, I, I can't keep doing the way it's, I can't keep doing it the way things are going. Um, but I like doing coffee news and 
Um, because we got to create our own content, some of these images and stuff I've created from scratch. So nothing you see here, at least in this post, is copied unless I've done it myself. And those are kind of the strikes and YouTube violations people are running into. I've done radio at 103.3 FM and 1370 AM in Charlotte. And if I ever go back to doing radio, um, I have to make these changes anyway. So I have to reformat some things, pretty much the same stuff I've been doing and making some real changes and downsizing things and making it much easier for you to just go to a one post or two posts. I, I can't, I can't see how what we've been doing is bad, but we got to kind of, I want to say, try to minimize uh, what we've been doing and maybe maximize our free time <laughs> and, and get some rest. That's, so the whole point to field projects, there'll be a lot of new things. That, there's no segments, um, you know, just kind of the same thing we've been doing. Uh, not really any, but we're just really not do it to the level we've been doing it. And um, it'll kind of look like this. It'll just be random reports or whatever. You know, just whatever comes to mind. I just don't know that uh, we can do like TV shows or anything like that. Just costly budgets just doesn't work. So we're going to do it with cheap, creative, and as minimal, uh, unnecessary stuff as possible. We got to cut out some of the, the garbage Honestly, I see a lot of people that are really fighting on YouTube and I don't see how that works. So hopefully these changes